Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and today I'm going to do a short little lecture here on moving averages. And I was motivated to do this today because I was uh, a presenter at uh, a, a webinar where they had a lot of speakers yesterday, and one of the people that was speaking prior to me was discussing moving averages and how you can buy and a pullback into moving averages and short into resistance and moving averages, which is really two different topics. But I want to talk briefly today just about buying into pullbacks and moving averages. And the, and the person was making it sound so like it was so easy to do that and make money, which is completely false. I mean, I actually was uh, laughing out loud, uh, you know, listening because I thought to myself, God, you know, when I remember when I started out 10 years ago, that when I first was learning about charts and candlesticks and technical analysis and moving averages, which I have here on my charts and I'll show you in a minute, uh, that it all sounded so great. And it all sounded like it made perfect sense to do that. And it all sounded amazing until I started to do it and realized that it didn't work even half the time. Okay. And I'm just going to briefly show you a few charts here to prove my point. But the fact is that you cannot, it, you cannot just buy pullbacks into moving averages in charts, even if they're in an uptrend. Okay, even if you're even if you're buying a stock in an uptrend and expect that kind of trade or move or entry to work to, to profit, it is not that easy. If it was that easy, literally no one would ever lose money and we and every pullback into a moving average would hold. And no one would ever lose any money, which is not the case, okay? But listening to the speaker, they made they made it sound so easy. And I think that is one of the reasons why people get frustrated with, with the trading educational system, with, the, with lots of the fact that there's lots of people out there because they make it sound so easy, certain things and the way they talk. And it, and it isn't that easy, okay? What I do is analyze a chart. Like I look at a chart, like here's Tesla, and I analyze the chart. And I can analyze any chart. Anything, you can put anything that has a chart in it. I could read it and tell you what's, what trend it's in and where it's going. But anyways, we're not going to worry about that today. The point I want to make today is, though, that it is about looking at the chart and analyzing it. It is not just about simply looking at the moving averages, seeing in what direction they're pointing, or what direction the stock is in, which very often people get wrong in the trend, and then going long into a pullback and moving average. It's just, I mean, the person made it sound like it was so easy. And I just thought, oh, my Lanta. Because 10 years ago, I would have listened to a person like that and believed them. And in fact, when I started trading, I believed that it was that easy too. It's not. It's not that trading is hard, but I'm telling you, it's not that easy to decide what to do. It's more complex, and that's why you have to learn it, and that's why I devised a method that looks at 26 things on a chart, which is a lot. It's not one or two moving averages. But I just want to do a simple example here just to prove my point. This is Tesla, and here's a chart of Tesla. I mean, here's the whole thing. You can look at it. Stock was up at brand new all-time highs, or almost touched it on that news. We had that spike when uh, Elon Musk tweeted and then ever since then, quite frankly, the stop has collapsed, okay? Doesn't look horrible here, but, you know, it's trading down the last few days. Anyways, I want to show you how the stock has not held any of these moving averages for the last few months. Even though the stock was in an uptrend back in here. Ran up, stock's in an uptrend. Ran up in here, came in, did not hold. If you bought this here on the 200 period moving average, it's a red line, or the 50 period moving average, this is a green line, the stock fell. It didn't go anywhere. Then it finally lifted around a couple weeks later. Then guess what? Didn't go anywhere. Then it fell. Then it fell in here. Again, if you bought it on the 200 pre moving average here, look where you are today. So you can't just buy stocks, even if they're in an uptrend, on the moving averages into support and a pullback. It will not work consistently. It's not that it never works. It won't work consistently. And I think that's where people get tripped up. Tesla's one example. I'm going to show you another example. The market. Because this is an example where if you had gone long the market into this pullback in here in the moving averages, you would be up. The market has run up ever since the beginning of July. So here's an example on it. And again, the spies is a spy. 
by the daily chart, this isn't an uptrend. If you had bought into this pullback here, we rallied. 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 Market's pulling back even today. If you buy this, it's probably going to rally too and fall if you're higher. But that doesn't mean that it works consistently every time. But this is an example of one that did work, and I showed you Tesla, an example of one that didn't work. So it doesn't work consistently is my point. And I could show you a thousand examples where it worked and a thousand more that it didn't work. So it's too random is my point to rely on for the taking risk where you would actually put your money on in the trade or any sizable amount of money on in a trade to take risk. It's just too, it's too unknown. It's not, it's too random. The odds are not in your favor, put it that way. The fact that it sometimes works like it did here in the market has nothing to do with anything at all. Sometimes everything works. Sometimes something works that doesn't make any sense at all, just like sometimes something doesn't work that works a lot, okay? There's no 100% either way, but the point I'm trying to make is, well, how do you make money as a trader? Whether you swing trade or do options or day trade, you have to find something that consistently works more than it does not, that you can predict so that you can do it. Because looking back after the fact, if you looking back now, it's easy to say, well, I could have gone on the market here, here, and here. Yeah, but did you? Did you do it? You probably didn't. You know what I'm saying? So you have to find a system that consistently works. And yet on top of that, you have to be able to know where to get in before the move happens to, to get the money before it goes, before it works. You have to be able to predict it. That's something that I do. That's what I do. And it's not as nothing nothing at all to do with anything at all with pullbacks and moving averages it is not how i trade it's not how i trade i will never trade like that because it doesn't consistently work and you can't predict it this very well could have come in here and failed in fact here is an example this came in here in the 20 period moving average and failed and broke down in here and this could have failed and broke down in here and this could have failed and broke down in here i'm telling you and and the market still would have been in an uptrend all right you don't take entries that way. It, it, this person yesterday made it sound like that was, a, you, if you had listened to this person yesterday, you would have said, oh my God, I can make millions of dollars in the market. It's so easy. I see it. I see every pullback and I see every moving average and it all makes sense in the world. It doesn't. That is not how you can consistently make money or trade. And it doesn't work all the time. It doesn't even work half the time. It doesn't work more than half the time. It works less than half the time. I don't even know what the odds are, but it hardly works at all. And I know because when I started trading 10 years ago, I heard the exact same stuff and it, it never fails to amaze me how when I listen to other people talk, how, how, how they make trading sound like it is just one or two things. Just do this one or two thing, people say. Just this one or two thing here and, and you'll get every trade right or a lot of trades right. Wrong. When I look at a chart, I'm, I'm focusing on one strategy. The strategy is, stra is gaps. That's true. My focus is on one strategy, but how I come to the conclusion to do the gap whether it's the spy, whether it's Tesla, whether it's Facebook, whether it's anything at all, how I come to that conclusion to pick that one ticker symbol that day, that, that and on any given day where I do it, whenever I call a trade, whenever I do anything, options, day trades, anything at all, how I pick that ticker symbol and how I predict that it's gonna go and work is because I'm looking at 26 things, not just one thing. It, it is not just about one thing, and it's not just about two things, and it is not just about indicators at all. You will never get it right or make any money consistently if you do that. The problem is that sometimes people make money going long into pullbacks, into support, and uptrends, and because it sometimes works, they think it works a lot. But why doesn't it work sometimes? Because it's not reliable. Because all these moving averages are is the price that is being averaged in the chart by a computer system, which is whatever your platform happens to be, that it does it automatically. And that's why you see these lines sometimes are pointing up, sometimes they're pointing down, sometimes they're wiggling and jiggling. You can't rely on them to trade. It's, oh, I could talk about this for an hour, for two, for days, weeks and years. But I'm telling you, traders so badly more than anything else in the world wish that they could just focus on one thing and just say every time it comes into the 20 pair of moving hours I'm going to buy it and that I can wrap my head around people say and that I'm going to do and then I'm going to make money and I'm going to get it and it's all going to be easy from here on out and everything's going to be great wrong wrong oh wrong it's just false and wrong and I don't know why people insist on having to look at things in such a in such a way i'm telling you right now 
get in your head that learning how to read price is a skill set. It takes looking at many, 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 many things together. That's how you get the high odds in your favor. You want to take the time to learn it like I have learned it, to do my class, to, to know it, to get it, to understand it, comprehend it, to learn it, because that's the way you're going to make money. And once you learn it, then the money comes. And then you're in a place of knowing, which is a lot different than a place of guessing. A place of knowing is different than guessing, okay? It's knowing. Knowing, I know that the market is higher. Period, end of story, okay? The spy is going to 300. I know that, okay? It's a lot different than guessing. Well, I'm, I think it's gonna go here. I think it's gonna go here, I think it's gonna go here, I think it's gonna go here, no, okay? So you gotta get into that place of knowing. And until you do, you, you won't understand what I mean, unless this makes total sense, which hopefully it does. Anyways, have a good day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.